This is examples part one of section 3.5. The first example says, find the limit as x approaches infinity of this fraction here, 2x minus one all over x plus one. So remember the technique that we said we were gonna try. Find the degree of the denominator. The degree of the denominator is actually equal to one because that's the highest exponent on our variables, okay? So what that means is I'm going to divide every term in both the numerator and denominator by x to the power one, or just x. So what I'm gonna get here is this limit actually is equal to, and as long as you're doing something to the numerator and the denominator, it does keep the fraction equal. So I'm gonna say 2x over x minus one over x, x over x plus one over x. And if I simplify that, I get two minus one over x over, oops, this should be an x, one plus one over x. Then as the x goes to infinity, Two will stay two, but this fraction will go to zero according to the first rule in the lecture. One will stay one, and this will go to zero. Then I have two over one, which is just two. So the limit is equal to two. Let's try the same attempt with example two. So here, again, the degree happens to be the same, and it happens to be one of the denominator. The degree of the numerator is two, because this is a power of one, this is a power of two, this power is higher, but that's not what we need to be concerned with. The technique says to use the degree of the denominator only. So we're gonna divide every term by x to the one. So let's write this out. So you get two x squared over x minus four over x x over x plus three over x. So then you end up with the limit as x goes to negative infinity of two x minus four over one plus three over x. Now, if x is going to negative infinity, this is going to negative infinity. And if you multiply it by two, you still get negative infinity. But the limit of a constant is just that same constant. The limit of one is one, and the limit as three over x, well that's a constant over x, will go to zero. So you end up with this. Well negative infinity plus or minus any real number is still going to be negative infinity. In the denominator you have one, which means what you end up with is negative infinity here.